Hello everyone, welcome to the next week of the weekly challenge. Now it's not Pearl weekly challenge, it's just the weekly challenge. And today we are looking at the task number one of week 74. And the task is called majority element. So let's read it. Uh, you are given an array of integers of size n. Write a script to find the majority element. If found, uh, if not none found, then print minus one. And majority element in the list is the one that appears more than floor of size of list divided by two. Right, a couple of comments before we go to the solutions. First, uh, when I was solving this solution, I thought that uh, what, what, what if there are two majority elements? So what, which one should we take? But actually, uh, it's impossible situation when we have two majority elements because of this condition. More, it appears more than uh, size of uh, list divided by two. So, for example, if there's uh, like 10 elements in the array and uh, six of them are the, ma the majority element it means that well we only have four elements left and we cannot have uh, another majority element which appears more than five times right so there's only one uh, at most uh, or there's none right and the second comment uh, about float we will uh, uh, i will return to this uh, when we we will uh, find something like that in the solution let me start with my solution first because i want also to uh, f to show some addition that i i got on reddit so here's my solution there's an array of integers the the same as in the task and i'm uh, directly uh, finding the most frequent element by using a bag so i convert this array to a bag and when i do that basically i will get a kind of hash where the keys are basically a set of uh, uh, of pairs where the key is the element itself from here and the value is the number of the repetitions of this element in the uh, original data it's not hash but it's a bag uh, so i convert it and then i sort this bag using this condition the whatever block and basically i sort descendant based on the value and the value as we remember is the number of repetitions of the element in the original data and after that i just take the first element there uh, there is only one element uh, in the the case we found the majority uh, element there and basically that's it so and if it appears more than uh, half of the length of the array then we print it and uh, uh, we take the value from the key, otherwise print minus one. Uh, right, and you see, so I don't have any float because uh, this thing on the left side of the uh, comparison uh, is always an integer, right? So it's zero, one, two, three, whatever. Uh, but this one is either an integer or just integer plus 0.5. So basically uh, I think there's no need to, uh, when you compare these, uh, to take the floor of this number run uh, r right uh, if you run this uh, you will get two if you run this uh, code with another example data you will get minus one because there is no majority element in this list uh yeah that's it and uh liz added uh, some note about my solution basically because uh bags have a min pairs and max pairs methods uh, uh, and we can use them so you see so we convert the data to back then we take these max pairs and take the head of it and basically that's it so this one topicalizes uh, this and again exactly the same so if there are more and see exactly here there's also uh, there's no float here because it's not actually needed uh, right uh, so that's a good addition uh, but we will go next do the next solution Arne Sommer uh, and this solution is here so what we have here so we have here the subset of non-negative integers uh, and all the elements in the input should be these non-negative ints and there should be at least one element so n is the length floor is the half length again floor is not needed here I believe and here is an example uh, an interesting example of how to count the elements using map basically we uh, loop over the elements in at a and uh, execute this code block for each of them basically i just increment the counter item uh, where the key of this hash is the element itself and the value is the number of repetitions after that we grab uh, we, we loop over the keys basically over the uh, unique elements and grab those which appear more than half of the lengths right and take the first one otherwise print minus one right uh, so i want to take some data if i want 
to run the code I need this so this is the uh, the thing uh, uh, it's too early uh, we go back to here and RNS solution and I will just run it right uh, Raku Arne Raku chair one and these right I remove commas run it and it should be two right so two is the majority element here right that works okay going next next solution is by Jan Karnavik and uh, his solution yeah this is what I expected he uses this uh, tricky tricky thing and then uh, okay so let's look so here we're just uh, making two tests with data from the description of the task and okay so we immediately convert it to a bag uh, and then uh yo so this slash i believe this makes the capture the thing you pass to the function when you call the function and um, so total uh so in in this capture you will have two named basically uh, parameters uh total and max element where total is the total number of the bag so uh yeah actually that's an interesting thing so maybe i want you to show that so raku uh, for example you have this original data right then you convert this to bag bag right and on in the back yeah so basically here you can see what the bag contains now so all the elements appear once but two appears four times and there's this total thing and it's the total number of the elements so it's one plus four plus one plus one there are seven elements as in the original data and uh, you will save it in total and they are again max let's see uh, b max and so it's four i believe this one right uh, the first element uh and then uh so so okay so here we have this uh capture uh on which we have uh in which we have a couple of keys uh, total and so yeah basically when you do this this is kind of uh, x in the hash element with the key named total and the same here so if the total number minus the, the value yeah so you see so this value is here i believe we can do it like this right uh, i'm not sure why it is one but nevertheless uh so we use this otherwise uh we print we return minus one right so let's run this code raku jan Kurnavik, which is not like like this uh, raku ch one the examples are in the test right so it seems to be working right so the only thing for your homework is to try to understand this and try to understand why this one is here and how we are using it later in the program uh right going next next solution by jason messa and uh right so again so uh these um, these functions are called for the original uh, test data there's whole number whole number is an integer where the number is more than minus one so basically it's zero one and all the rest uh and the function majority uh, where all those elements in the input are whole numbers right so oh yeah classify interesting interesting thing so docs raku uh classify there's an interesting thing uh, it's classy maybe for this uh for this uh task it's a bit redundant but basically you can so you can call it as a method or as a subroutine uh, you pass the code i believe this is what we have here right right so we pass some code and uh yeah so you get uh, some for example here the example uh, we take the years and we uh, classify leap year right so yeah see so in this example we create some um, dates for the range of years the first of January then you classify the years if it's leap a leap year or not uh, into this uh, hash and this hash in the end contains this so you see the parameter <coughs> the attribute false 
an attribute true and uh, so here we have uh, 2003 4 5 6 7 8 uh, this is like six uh, uh, years and you see so here we have four false so four non leap years and two leap years right uh, so yeah we've got this classification and the same thing happens here so what we have here inside is basically uh, so there's a state well the counter is hidden inside is classified that's really wise uh, so we don't need this counter outside of this but we need it when we run it for all the elements so basically it is a state variable nice and yeah again so we increment the counter and uh, maybe maybe let's try to see what's there inside Raku oh yeah I need this again uh, right right and then i want to classify this thing like this you see so this is what we've got so uh yeah so the classification uh, uh thing is the number of repetitions and you see so uh these elements repeat are repeated once this element is repeated four times and this actually ah yeah so yeah the classification is is yeah also contains some uh intermediate counters right like these four so so yeah. we didn't see any of one or three or four but we saw two four times so two actually appeared uh, in all of these right so yeah basically we have to take the maximum which is a bit uh, right that's why we need to sort this so uh, sort uh, so you sort this one two, uh, yeah no difference and take the tail so basically take the maximum right so this is what you've got here something like you had here and uh, right so and uh, all the rest is just to check if this element appears enough times and return this otherwise return minus one so most uh, what is most most is a key aha uh -huh. so yeah so key and the value and actually the value is in uh is in uh, is list uh, an array uh is it list or is it an array sort tail what it's a pair uh -huh. uh, sort tail zero what uh, I mean zero value what right so this is an array right uh, uh, and yeah so that's that's it so we can run it Jason Mesa or Raku Jason Raku chair one everything works good uh going next luca ferrari raku number one all uh, right so here's the solution i really like that there's an example that you can just copy paste and uh so yeah we grab integers the elements aha uh -huh, so we saw this somewhere in the previous weeks uh n is the number of elements the lengths basically the majority well uh, majority or uh, i think the variable name is a bit misleading at least for me a floor floor i think is not needed because we are comparing it somewhere here uh and so yeah we just for this array we count the elements uh given counting pairs map uh, so we map the pairs pairs are so this is the uh, element and the value here is the number of repetition if it is bigger than the half of the uh, array then we use this otherwise nil and then we grab only those which are spare i think this is a bit like heavy uh so basically i think this is like to <laughs> to skip nil right if i'm correct then we take unique uh, i'm not quite sure that this unique will actually do anything because here if I understand it correctly, we only will pass a single element, which appears more than half of the number of elements, and we take like the first one, and then uh, when so, so is the same as converting the topic to a bool, uh, to a boolean value. We take its key and print it, otherwise we print a minus one. So given basically sets the topic variable dollar underscore to the result of this uh, computation right so uh i'm yeah i think this is a bit redundant but nevertheless so let's uh, let's run this solution raku luca luca ferrari raku one with this 
in it prints too and i believe this will work also for the second time but uh, the second thing but i want to just mm, uh, check it if it will if actually this is required right even even unique can go probably so let's run it uh, no i need data i need this uh raku T blue oh no no so something is actually needed maybe not exactly the same yeah <laughs> but so you can, but probably it's uh, just for this example but it will not work for another but nevertheless so right so the solution works that's the 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 point and the interesting thing here is uh what's the most interesting thing well actually yeah maybe, maybe actually we can uh, focus on this solution on on these things so you, you see so smart match operator can check the type of the current uh, object w w w which is uh, quite compact syntax i believe right uh, going next mark anderson going to the solution and what we see here is uh, a subset integer array of array where all is wow nice that's i like this uh, so basically we create the subset of arrays uh where all the elements of this array are integers and again so we see so we have this smart match with the type name uh then non-empty integer array the same with uh, at least one element uh yeah so we see in, in the where clause you can directly mm, start calling the method right on on kind of nothing uh on the topic uh units of main where again this uh, type and now we are comparing with the type uh the, with the user built type right then immediately convert to bag and you see so there's uh, not necessarily have to call the method dot bag uh there's a standalone function but low case uh and after that so yeah we take max pairs and then we take the first element and the kv so basically uh the key and the value of the maximum pair or the first maximum pair right mm, i think in this solution it was a bit uh a bit simpler hey you right so it was just head and after that we take dot key oh, actually no actually it's the same right because here we also probably want to have both key and the value uh the back total we saw what it uh, gives us uh, uh, it gives us seven in the case of uh, original data and if this is less so see notice that they not necessarily have to divide with slash there's div which divides like uh, gives you the uh, integer result uh right minus one and otherwise Mm, wow uh, so i believe this is equals do if if this one ah yeah so 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 this uh, just uh, adds the ending of the word for for, for, for good english right so uh raku mark anderson raku chair one and this data uh two as two appears four times in the list which is more than floor of seven by two good going next next uh marcus holzer and actually see so i have uh his solution here with the uh, so i wonder which one to to take a look at uh all right so this one uh, seems to be a bit shorter and uh, so there's some data and uh, some, some other test data right we take back max packs first value we saw that otherwise this is nil uh zero uh and if this is bigger than a half of the length, we use this and otherwise not use it. Raku, mm, mm, Marcus, also Raku, chair one, four. So uh, why four? It's uh, It should be two because it's, we should take key here, right? I believe, uh, right. I believe this is the correct solution, key. Oh, we can just use it like this wait what but value is the number of repetitions that's the thing that's the thing right uh, yeah ah yeah so yeah we we have to oh yeah we cannot take it here because uh we basically uh, like have to do it like like this right 
yeah but definitely it's better to save this in a variable uh right uh and let's look here and the solution here so with the Ah, I see. So, aha, uh -huh. that's uh, a nice thing. So we see. So what I was uh, like m m saying, uh, here is that uh, this thing uh, I, I calculated twice. So definitely, I have to create a separate variable. But you can also use a trick with the word with the, or maybe with given, uh, and typicalize the thing. Uh, so see, so basically, yeah, so basically this is what we typicalize. The only thing is that we use this sorting as I did it uh, instead of max pairs. And after that, you can just use it as many times as you need because this is already computed once and you can call this dot value, dot key, whatever you need. Right, so so this is the improvement for this solution as well. So we, we can use with the and all the rest. Right, good. Uh, so this one, so remember this trick. And actually, I think this trick is a, is a really, really interesting uh, that we can uh, use uh, when we need to c c calculate something twice and avoid separate variables right then Shahed uh, I think we didn't see him for a few weeks already and mm, yeah please load it all right so the solution is here uh, so we need some something let me just copy this to here and right <laughs> right so uh, what we what we have here is kind of uh, run a function right uh, like this. Why do we need it like this? So it's anonymous function. Uh, it's <laughs> it's in JavaScript. Uh, then inside this function we dot return dot return. Wow, dot return. So basically you return the currently uh, the current element, right? Uh, wow. I, I, I actually I didn't realize that you can just dot use dot return instead of just return. But okay, so you dot return. So you return something uh, which is in topic. If uh so dollar underscore is the uh, so, uh is the arrays with uh, with these right uh we're grabbing those uh triangular reduction operator uh so we build list like one one two one two two one two th two three and so on then we split it what do we split it into uh because this is uh I didn't quite understand this. Uh, then we map that. Uh, ooh. So this is a placeholder variable. So it's basically the first argument that this grep repeat. Oh, wow. Well, grep and grep. Ooh. And then we take the last element. So yeah, we saw this in the, like, uh, in the form of tail uh, in other solutions. And then we grab this. What do we grab it? So first we grab it. Ooh. Uh, otherwise uh, like hash and then we join this uh, kind of it's opposite of it's opposite to this com comb I believe uh, and if it's bigger than the half of the array and we do this for this and in the end it's minus one yeah so uh, <laughs> I want uh, a d d parser to to run this but maybe let's just run it uh, it prints nothing uh, right, because uh, it returns, but whew, maybe I can just say it right. Two, 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 two. Okay. Uh, and uh, what if uh, I will use the second set of data, which should produce minus one, like this one? Yeah, by the way, these parentheses are never needed. Um, because yeah I mean like this right okay I didn't uh, I can say that I understand this solution especially with this but definitely you can just split it into pieces and see but it looks like it it works right if you add some some things right okay uh, let's go next the next solution is uh, Who's the next? And the next is uh, Simon Proctor. Right. Uh, his solution. Uh, so, right. All the input integers are int. And again, notice this. It will be printed when you have nothing in the input. Raku Simon Proctor Raku Ch1. Uh, why? So, this is when it's printed. Uh, 
yeah so i think yeah again so probably we can uh, make this a bit stricter and add uh, the fact that the there is at least one element here uh, right okay so medium um and convert it to the back kv uh, keys and values then grab mm, uh, the anonymous block with this signature v and c v is the key and c is v Mm, where uh, the number of repetitions is bigger than uh, half of the array, we take the first and the first, uh, and that's it, right? Right, so let's run this and pass this the correct data, and it prints to good. Uh, right, okay, Perl and Raku solutions uh, at NASA's Raku solution number one. Here is the, the code. Yeah, okay, so see, so here we have this uh, additional restriction, uh, then the length, then the mean, uh, then uh, default output. Yeah, basically, yeah, that's also a thing. So if you cannot find anything, just use the default, just prepare the default before you uh, count anything. So yeah, we create this counter, we saw this. Uh, right, if, if, so count values max so we take the values and the values are the number of repetitions we take the maximum and this is maximum is uh, bigger than a half then we do something otherwise we already have minus one and uh, so and uh, if we have enough elements then uh we what we do we invert the hash so we, we uh, change the keys and the values and uh then we take in the reverted the max what is the max here what is dollar max Ah, yeah, it's here, it's the maximum uh, number of repetition, right? So, yeah, and I see, so when you invert the hash, there's a danger that uh, if there were two values which are the same, they will collapse in a single element with the same key. But in our case, there should be only one element, so there's no danger, at least for that maximum element. So we can safely take its maximum as the key in this reverted hash and take and yeah and basically use this otherwise we use uh, output which is already minus one we didn't reassign this okay uh raku at nasius raku one and uh data right output is two good uh going next calling crane raku solution Raku solution. Oh, wow. I like this. Uh, so instead of just using floor, actually it used only once, but for just some uh, some beautiness, uh, we introduce here the circumfix, the custom operator with two characters surrounding the operand. The operand goes here, so it's numeric N, and we take the floor. Uh, yeah, interesting solution. The only thing is probably it's not needed, but nevertheless, uh, as a solution, you see, so it's a good thing that you can use Unicode characters. The, the only thing, don't forget to, to add space here, otherwise uh, you will not be understood by, by the compiler. Right, so we take all the things uh, from the command line into this A. Uh, if there's nothing there, we have a default. That's an interesting way to introduce default values, by the way. Uh, right, count uh, and the maximum. Uh -huh. So you see, so this column is actually just a function call in, in this format. Uh, we can use parentheses around the block uh, and actually probably we can even use the star here right if i'm correct but nevertheless uh, so we find the maximum uh, yeah remember that the max routine it can take uh, a code block which will be actually used uh, in comparison uh, instead of so it's called uh, this and you see so you can use this so basically this is the, the case that we see in the solution so uh, instead of just using the element from a we're using this value based on the current element so the current element is in dollar underscore and instead of comparing uh, this dollar underscore with other other elements of the original data we use the number of repetitions and compare those values to sort and we take this maximum that's that's an interesting thing i, I like this and uh if this maximum is bigger than this floor of the half we use this otherwise we use minus one right uh, let's run this uh, calling crane raku one we're using default uh did, did you notice how slow it was uh, compiled that's because uh 
Actually, I probably want to show you that's because of this customization of the grammar. So if you will remove this and I will just use this uh, and actually even well, uh, yeah, here I'm not going to show that floor is not needed, but the fact that if you are not modifying the grammar, it's much, much faster. Oops. Uh, maybe, I don't know. Time, right. And if you will, for example, return to the modification of the grammar, you see it's much slow, it's way slower. So for this, you see it's two seconds instead of so basically two additional seconds for nothing. Uh, uh, but uh, the, the trick to bypass this uh, is just to extract this to a separate module and this module uh, after the first round will be compiled and, it will, and after that you can use the pre-compiled version of the module so that's a trick to bypass this uh, right but as but, but as a fact yeah uh, and maybe actually let's if we're here let's just run it without the floor and the result is the same uh, good uh, right uh, going next, the next solution by Jaldar Vias, if I'm reading this correctly. Uh, uh, right, so some elements in the input, at least one of them. Uh, count, so classification here, the classification is much, much simpler. Basically, we classify it based on <laughs> the value of this element. So just no tricks, just use this. Uh, uh, that's, that's clever. I like this. Uh, and uh, here, all right, okay, so the half uh, count keys, what are the keys? So in the keys, uh, so, uh, okay, so remember, uh, maybe, maybe again, we, I want to see this, right? So actually, this is the data. Let's rock, let's rock with my, uh, this, and after that, I want to use yeah maybe maybe together with the hash just to see what's there in hash right so this is what you get here so uh the keys are the values one two three and four and actually the uh, here in these lists uh, uh the items are just repeating the item itself but we can count how many. so yeah so that's that's an interesting thing so basically if you take the length of this array you know how many times it uh, this element appears in the source data uh, all right so we take this basically uh, we compare directly so basically we compare like for example this selected thing uh, selected list with a uh, numeric value which means that we compare the the length of the array and if it's bigger we take it otherwise we do not um, pass it further uh, if there's something found, we take it. If not, we take minus one. Then we just, I think this is a bit, uh, because yeah. So we, we get arrays uh, here and we join it with, I, I think this is a bit like a strange thing, but uh, nevertheless. So let's uh, uh, run this solution. Jaldar, Jaldar, E. Yeah, Raku, Jaldar. What's the... Yeah. Hey. Uh, Raku one and uh, to give me some data. It's here. What? Right. It's two, which is the correct result. Right. Javier, uh, look. Uh, gives us uh, this solution. There are two tests. Uh, and I wonder what the ah oh yeah so this is text comment uh, majority element function uh, so we count the elements I thought I think we already saw exactly this um, then we take the keys the keys are the the elements from here and we sort them uh, descendant descendant and we take the first thing and uh, right if this count is bigger than a half then we use this and otherwise we use that All right uh, let's uh, raku have your Raku to one uh, and it says us that everything is correct. Lauren Rosenfield uh, writes uh, Raku number one. So here there are some different data inputs. So we have to be careful when reading the output. So for those, uh, and you see, so you have two arrays here and here you will save it in the scalar. 
uh, in the scale container we convert it immediately to the back and we just make this type a restriction uh, right then we take the maximum of the keys values using this thing uh, oh wow that's nice so yeah so we're using uh, dollar b inside uh, sorting of the dollar b uh, right so we take the thing where the uh, number of repetitions is maximum that's the item and then we uh, referring to the bag and we are taking the counter no here ah, okay so here is the what's there inside uh, so for, um, yeah uh, ee, uh, right so I want like I want like this my right right so this is what i want uh and there's only one right uh i want to just uh, print this item and nothing here uh right raku raku test so uh item is uh so it's an integer right so the integer in the loop is this one i didn't quite understand that but okay so this these are basically the elements and we are in loop so but here we have ah okay <laughs> uh right so this is different so yeah so see ah uh -huh. so that's uh, a trick that maybe well yeah i was just tricked so you cannot do that because here in this case uh, the uh, $c will uh, receive only a single uh, integer but in this case this $c will uh, receive an array already so we can just stop this so see so there are two repetitions and in this case this right this basically directly gives us the uh, result so two after this uh, computation we have found two and after that we have to take two and yeah and uh right and uh, take this as the key of the bag and uh, the value will give us the number of repetitions which we can compare with the result and the result is correct good okay so then maybe i even won't run the original solution because uh, i run the same on the source uh, data from the text uh, from the definition of the task right okay uh muhammad anwar uh, so the solution with some again so he's using strings which <laughs> the same thing that last time uh so uh we uh have uh, like list uh right then we take this midpoint then we count again using the map uh and we take the top which is the majority i believe by sorting them uh from higher to lower take the first element uh so so see so you sort the hash you call dot sort on the hash and inside you can use yeah basically you can use the uh, uh elements and access those key uh, those uh, properties uh, such as value and if it's bigger and uh, then the half then we use this yeah okay so yeah i think it will just work uh raku muhammad raku one right good uh i'm going next got the next uh, solution is this one and right so we've got you so yeah so here we generate some uh test data so we bull pick an interesting case so just true or false in a single thing so basically this is like a kind of playing with a coin uh bull pick wow well, I, I like this <laughs> i like i like this hey i don't like this <laughs> right but nevertheless so it's interesting thing just to flip the uh, the, the coin uh right uh, major element is random dot floor this one uh half of the length again floor what is s s is this uh, the sample size uh then ensure major mm, 
I don't understand why we need this, right? So, ah, yeah, right. So ensure major means that we just really generate something that contains this major element, otherwise some random data and we don't know if there is an, a major element there. Uh, probably not because you see, so it's uh, just picking uh, elements in random order from the sequence of uh, integers. And so get major, uh, right. Uh, okay, so the function that does the job. Uh, so for the elements, when it's zero, none, wait, uh, what do we have here? So we have here basically the sample, right? So if there are, ah, yes, yeah, so it's, yeah, sorry. Uh, it's just, uh, and again, we're using dot return, by the way, you see? So, uh, yeah, I didn't see this pattern before, or I didn't notice. Uh, so, yeah, if there's, uh, like, too short, if there are no elements there, we immediately return minus one. Otherwise, return the first element. So, yeah, basically, the majority element and the element of the one uh, element is the same element, right? So if the length of the array is one, actually, no. Uh, the length of the array is one, and the number of repetitions is also one, which is uh, not bigger than the floor of uh, half size, right? The floor of half, of half size in this case is zero. So probably this is a bit incorrect, uh, but it's, uh, yeah, it's a, an edge case. Uh, right. Yoo-hoo. Yeah. I wonder if this works. Uh, so, uh, so let me see. So let's rock. So for example, we have this, uh, my a is one three blah, blah, blah. Not, not important what's there and mm, i want this so r a what is it lms yeah this is obviously the size lms multiplied by zero five this is half size but the next thing i think will just break everything right so if you do it like this floor it will give you guess what i think zero and it is zero because I believe this floor is uh, is called on dot point five zero point five, and yeah, basically you multiply something by zero. Uh, so there are like you you need parentheses, something like that. Uh, right. So this is also always zero. Uh, right. Then uh, sort it. We take the first element, shift, and then like two other. One on minus one, okay. And for those elements, what we do if I, I don't understand the meaning of this, uh, like p num p count, probably res, what is remainder or result or p number. Uh, if count uh, bigger than this, then this, and then uh, and last with the comma. Yeah, okay, so, uh, sorry, I don't understand that, but let's, we can just run this, and we, uh, Raku, how do you spell it? Um, it will generate some random thing, so, right, so this, uh, no, obviously, no, uh, there's nothing, there's nothing, right, aha, uh -huh, so, okay, so that was the thing, uh, to ensure the, and let's look again. So we see, so ensure, so we just, uh, to ensure that there's m the majority element, we just repeat this around the majority uh, number uh, half times plus one. So yeah, this is the thing. Maybe we can uh, shuffle this array before going further. So I would suggest to call shuffle here. Ah, yeah, it's, ah, no, uh, probably we could, we, we should shuffle this sample after we create this, uh, right? I believe all the rest where we have the majority element, we will have them right in the beginning. Uh, right. Okay. Uh, good. Uh, going next. The next Rochable West, Raku number one. Let's look at uh, here. So, right, there are two tests in the function itself. So, we are, we are filling the hash with number of repetitions that we find the maximum of uh, values of these. Yeah, so it's kind of pull five-ish pattern. Uh, I would yeah, that, that's completely fine, I mean, yeah, but like, uh, I'm used to using dot values already, uh -huh. but this is also completely fine, uh, and uh, so we found the maximum of the values, and the maximum of values is basically the number of repetitions, right, the, the most uh, frequent uh, 
number of repetitions the mo of the most frequent element and uh, then if this is bigger than the half we can convert it back to the element and print it right uh, I think this is a bit like strange it's uh, Raku uh, Roger Bell West Raku chair one uh, so it works. The only thing I don't quite understand is this. So yeah, basically here we, we have to take based on the uh, maximum number of things. Yeah, so we, we, we have to just uh, find the element which appeared there maximum number of times. So this is what you do if you don't use bags, right? Uh, right. Okay. And finally, the last solution in this list, Lurki Rika, and uh, here's the solution. Uh, so yeah where do we start here so I believe here so enter array so yeah aha uh -huh, I remember that you have to enter and type end in the end uh, the lengths how many we fill this how many we just uh, take one element from the array and use it in an increment the counter then majority uh, so this is not the majority element this is the the half of length uh, and sort it how many uh, dot keys so the keys are the values uh, in the original data then we sort them uh, reversed and if it's bigger than a half then we use this right okay so yeah that's a straightforward solution the only thing is that you have to uh, to enter the numbers which I never like but let's uh, and I even don't see this where can I take the original data one two two three one two two three uh two four two two four two and boa right okay great and that was the last solution here so yeah it was an interesting task an interesting set of solutions uh like the most uh, thing that i was impressed is just bull dot peak and the second thing uh, maybe the first thing that uh, also impressed me is just how to use with the, uh, to topicalize the thing and so that you can avoid creating temporary variables. Okay, so that was it. So next uh, challenge is uh, the next video will be with the same challenge but with the second task, the first non-repeated character. So yeah, so keep in touch. See you. See you soon.